one novel adaptation of saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. A story focusing on a girl who can travel between the real world and this new medieval world of fantasy. It's when she discovers that she can go between both that she decides to use modern day technology to get rich in the new world. Resulting in her bringing things like guns to defend herself, then solar panels to power her TV and game consoles. I'm not sure what part of that starts making her money, but the gist is pretty much the application of modern technology into medieval society. A light novel adaptation that goes by the name Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skill. At first it starts with your typical protagonist being summoned to save the kingdom, but the main character here wasn't summoned with anything particularly strong. No, instead he was given a skill called Food Menu, an ability that lets him obtain food-related items from supermarkets in Japan. So, after being kicked out from that party of heroes, our protagonist sets out to make use of this skill his own way, essentially by creating amazing meals no one has ever tried before. It's another isekai where the protagonist is living a simple life the way that he wants to. Carnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. After being betrayed by his own party, our main character uses a secret reincarnation technique to bring himself back to life in another world. A world in which the magic there pales in comparison to the magic that he used to know. So, as he uses his old overpowered techniques to survive, we basically get your standard power fantasy but with a shoehorned isekai element. Comet's adaptation of Reborn to Master the Blade. A very similar story to the exorcist one, but instead of a mage we have a hero king. That and he gets revived back into the future version of his own world. So, being reborn from divine knight into this less spectacular lady squire, this hero king takes the challenge to master the blade once more. But rather than use his power to create a country like he did before, this time he'll set aside the politics and focus his new life solely on swordsmanship. Of course, there's certain plot elements that make that particular aspect more interesting, but I don't think that's the go-to reason for watching this. It's more so if you're looking for an action-based fairing life in another world. A man who dies just before the age of 40 then meets a god capable of granting him several wishes. Unlike how they'd usually wish for power or something exciting though, this guy just wishes for normal things. A healthy body, a peaceful life, knowledge of the local language than the job of a farmer. It's an adaptation of a light novel about a simple man living a simple life. Another isekai following that same line of simplicity is the adaptation of the 4-cell manga Handyman Saito in Another World. This one focusing on a skilled tradesman and the application of his knowledge to help those around him. An interesting thing to note about the people he travels with is that they too were isekai from their own worlds as well. So, it's a bunch of short stories with various different stereotypes that form a kind of anthology with this handyman at the center of it.